This guy seriously thought I wasn't gonna record me ranting about Mahi Mahi Resort. This guy seriously thought I wasn't gonna record that. Well, I am. Too bad. We're going to Mahi Mahi Resort. I'm gonna explain why this map rework is super good for the map. We're strong with the turf war layout. And we're gonna go on the turf war layout. And the first thing you see is that there are like three routes out of spawn. One of them is, is this way over here. And it's kind of okay. You paint, and this part is uninkable for like no reason at all. Um, you go, you take fights, and there's not a lot of room to walk. There's like, there's like nowhere to stand. It's very sad. You can also... Go up here. You can try and go across the top and take fights. This is kind of like how it was in Splatoon 1, but not really. It's a lot thinner. It's a lot worse as a sniper spot, too. I guess, if that's a good thing. And then you have the islands. And then the islands are just really sad. Because you go over here, and you paint the islands. And there is one route for you to get in the mid. And it's, it's just, it's, it's just a block. Because you're not supposed to jump like that. But it's very limited. And there's not a lot, there's not a lot of stuff you can do. But you, you get out of spawn. And it's the tiniest fucking mid ever. And it's really sad. Right. And we're gonna go to the Splat Zones layout. Mahi Mahi Resort. Wham! Go to the Splat Zones. It's nearly the exact same. There's like a sponge here this time. But like... Now this is like this. And it's also a lot easier to move around the mid. The only places you can fall in the water are like right here and you kind of have to do it on purpose. But again, I fell in the water again. But point is, these islands over here are just kind of there. They're, they're just like, I can go over here. I can sure as hell go over here. But like, what value does this provide? If I'm like a tunnel biker, I don't even reach. I can't even fight from it. There's nothing I'm doing. But it makes the zones like we have to wait. So I'm gonna jump around for a bit. Oh, special. Throw up. Every day. You know how it is. Like this layout kind of sucks. But what makes zones so nice is that like not only is this like a Kind of a fun thing to fight around. Then the water level drops. And you got all this area over here. And this time, you go on the islands. And it's like, this is like an actual way I can get into this. Now there's no, there's nothing over here that I can take. There was an island in Splatoon 1 that lets you do this. But like with this opened up, there's like plenty cover. That you can hide behind, you can hide behind here, hide behind here, you hide behind here, take this block up here, because zones and high level play is all about taking the zone and then bullying people into the zone. So you can go up here, you cannot take like a platform to get farther in, which I think is fair, but you can harass it from over here, and it's kind of nice because they got this block, and it's not just like a, it's not just like a one way drop where it's like really sad. Then we get to the really funny layouts. You get to see the really funny ones. Tower control. Let's do tower control on Mahi Mahi Resort. I'm very hungry right now. Let's go on tower control on Mahi Mahi Resort. A lot of this stuff is lowered. And like, the islands over here exist. When you go over here, there's not even a block. At the start of the- these just- these- what am I doing? There's not- like- 
Now if I jump, I probably almost make that. But like, you go over here, and it's like... What is this? What am I looking at? Why, this, why are we fighting in the fucking trenches? We got the power for a bit. The checkpoint is right here. You move two inches for the first checkpoint. You go over here. The second checkpoint. This one's kind of nice. I don't really have an issue with this one. Bottom level drops. And now it's like this, and it's like, you get this to mid, and it's like, what, what am I looking at here? <laughs> like, all of the cover is gone. There's like one blow-up thing. There's like one fight on each side, and like, the block. <laughs> and that's like it. You have to get the fight in the trenches. I'm a sniper guy. I basically have all of these sight lines. And if someone isn't, like, literally hiding in their ink form, you can see, like, my head here. My head is visible. Anyway, this layout is not very... I don't think this is here for whatever reason. Bam. I'm gonna go this way for a bit. It's just, like, really open. I mean, there's no cover to hide behind. But, like, getting out of spawn, it's like... Sure, you can go this way, but again, like, not only is this not, not only are you not available to go to mid from the start of the game, once you get over here, look how far away I am from the tower. Even when it comes over here, I'm still not helpful. If I go over here, there's this big ass thing blocking my way, like, Then we get to the Raid Maker play out. It's even worse. Get to see the Raid Maker layout. Suddenly we're over here for God knows why. The checkpoints are there and there. This is like It takes me like two seconds. You know what you know what the worst part is? What are we even doing here? Hey it, it's 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 they're just there for no reason. They put this block here. <laughs> Go in from there. There's no reason to go over here. Like, at all. Grab the Rainmaker. And I'm like, alright, I could pick the easiest push of my entire life. Or, I could go over here with a small water drop. Or, I could go over here. <laughs> There's no reason to go over to the islands. You go over there, and you think there's just nothing going on. There's, there's nothing going on. I'm gonna drop right over here. I go over here. I grab this. Water level drops. Wow, this route opens up. I'd s I can. Alright, right, and then the last one is a little bit more bearable. It's the Clam Blitz layout. I think the Clam Blitz layout, it could be better, but I honestly don't think it's that bad. You spawn in here, you go over the islands, and there is still. Oh, <laughs> they. <laughs> they even put a little barrier here. So you can't make the jump. So you can't make the jump. You just go over here, 
and you hang out for fun. Really? Come out here. And it's like there's this there's this nice little area that you can fight, which is not honestly that bad. Problem is, there's two ways in the mid. You either go from up here, or you go over here. And like this is the skinniest fucking path known to man. These are irrelevant. But up there is just like there's so much unequable terrain. Like, I can't do any of this. I go up here, and then like everyone in your mom pushes you is up this way. They use like a hammer or a missile. Gather clams. I actually don't know the score on this one. All the clams are like bunched up together. So it's like really easy to make a power climb for no reason. Go up here, okay. Water level drops. Great. Now I can actually get to the islands. These aren't completely irrelevant. I get over here. And if I'm pushing the enemy, I, I actually shouldn't do this from the other side. I'm over here, on the islands. Why would I push this way? It doesn't answer- it's like, not only is this going over here, this sponge could be inflated. This could be inflated and completely block my path of entry in. And even on the off chance it's not, I gotta worry about that angle, I gotta worry about this angle, gotta worry about these angles over here. If someone's up here, I gotta worry about that. I gotta worry about direct onslaughts. It's like, and at no point in any of the forms is pushing the islands like a worthwhile thing you can do. It's just, there's just no reason to do it. But, like, the clan book's layout isn't terrible. Again, the mid is really fucking tiny. I also don't like how they completely change the way the map looks. Like, what happened to the, the pits of water over here? And, like, the high ground that you could fight on? No, it's just these big ass ramps. It's a completely different map at this point. But, like, clan books isn't terrible. Like, I would prefer if the map was bigger. And they move, like, the basket over, like, here or something. It's, like, a bit farther in. Again. If, at the start of a match, this spot is raised. So it's actually more difficult for the defenders to defend against an initial push. They have to get aggressive. Yeah, but Clamblet's layout isn't terrible. We have this push option, which is... Fine. You have to. Be, you usually have to use a special to get through. Here. Alternatively, you can go this way. But again, don't worry about that angle. That angle. Don't worry about that angle. Here you gotta work. That angle. It's just not worth it. It's so close to the spawn. Okay. So, one moment, please. So if I go to my OBS, switch the game scene. It's a game capture. I need to switch how this works. Actually, no, desktop should work just fine. I move this over here. Grab my OBS. Move it this way. So basically, this is a picture of all the, the reworks they're doing. And this is just the turf war layout. We have no idea how they're going to, hopefully, I pray to God, they change the, um, they change the way the different, uh, map modes work. So that tower control isn't just the weirdest shit ever. But, like, you can see over here, 
they're extending the spawn. So the spawn is going to be bigger. There's going to be whatever this, like, pull thing is here. There's going to be another route to mid, and they're making mid bigger. It's like more, you have more room to stand around and do stuff. And they appear to have added, like, more islands. You can go over here. This is an actual ap approach route. Hold on. Let's see if I can move up. Let me just look at the. Look over here. This is a really low quality image, but like, you can see that they have like all of these islands, and obviously like the spawn is like way different. But you have all these islands, and these are like actual push options. But like, with this. They're adding more islands, and they're making it easier to get to mid from the islands. They're also making this spawn region bigger over here. I think this is a pillar. There's a little great drop here. A lot of people are really hoping that that's inkable, which I can understand. There's a lot of one-way drops. Um, but they're making more islands, and hopefully, if they're smart about it, they can move the Rainmaker checkpoints so that the islands are an actual push option and then they have like the goal like right here so you can either like swim up a ramp to get to the goal or you can like go this way and have to deal with like these guys up here but the big thing about the mahi mahi rework is not just the fact that mahi mahi resort is getting reworked even though that is huge and massive and amazing um it's that the devs understand that their maps are flawed beyond just, like, a minimal degree. Like, it was kind of a meme. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, what turn the whole update? What was basically, when Fresh Season came out, they were like, we're making changes to all of the maps. And, th and they just added polls. Um, they're like, provide more cover, and it was the worst cover known to man. It was awful. It was terrible. Um, the polls didn't even work. The hitboxes were too big. Um, in cases like, where is it? I saw the image. I know I saw the image. Where is it? If I close out of it, will I be able to find it easier? Okay, Yoto Ellie. Literally... They removed the ramp that allowed you to get back into your spawn on three out of the four ranked modes and turf war for no reason. Like, they, they made Eel Tail Alley worse. <sighs> but yeah, it, they understand that besides like poles and extra cover, there's more that they need to do to the maps to make them fun to play on. And hopefully we can get reworks on maps like Mincemeat Metalworks and uh, Undertow Spillway and Scorch Gorge and more maps like that. Um, it's like 1 a.m. and I'm very hungry. I need to eat something. <laughs> but basically there's my rant about why the current Mahi Mahi kind of sucks ass really bad. And then why these reworks, hopefully, if they handle this correctly, could be massive for, for this map. It could make it, like, maybe not a great map, but a better one. And that's all I really ask for. Thanks for watching.